guys and welcome back to my channel today i will be showing you guys how i make my curry chicken to get started here are the ingredients i will be using here i have some chicken that i already seasoned ahead of time and i'll be using some potatoes i also have some yellow onions i have green onions and thyme habanero peppers garlic i'll be using some jeera and garam masala my curry powder here some all-purpose seasoning, complete seasoning, chicken bouillon, and black pepper. So here's how I seasoned my chicken. First, I washed this up in some vinegar and lemon juice, and I used some of my fresh green seasoning. I have all-purpose seasoning, chicken bouillon, complete seasoning, and black pepper. What I did was added all of the seasonings to the chicken, and I mixed until it was well combined. I then let it sit and marinate for about two hours before I get started. Next, we'll combine our jeera, better known as cumin, the garam masala, curry powder and a little bit of green seasoning. We will add some water to that and we'll mix it until it forms a paste. The reason for this is I like to cook my curry thoroughly before adding meats or any other ingredient. You know, curry is something that you have to cook it properly or else it tastes bitter and grainy and it also affects your stomach. So you want to make sure you're cooking your curry powder properly before adding, you know, your ingredients. In my preheated oil, I will now add my curry paste, mix well, and I let it go for about three to four minutes. Next, we'll add some of our garlic and onions here and we'll let them go for about two minutes just to become nice and fragrant. Now add some water to create a sauce to coat our chicken. We will let it go for another two minutes. Now that the curry is thoroughly cooked, we will now add the chicken and make sure it's evenly coated with the curry sauce. Once the chicken is well coated, We'll let this go for about 15 minutes, allowing the chicken to absorb those flavors and for it to release its juices. After about 15 minutes, this is how the chicken is looking. What we'll do next is add some hot water here. You want to add the hot water because you do not want to mess with the cooking temperature. You want that temperature to remain the same. So we'll add that water here and then we will let this go for about 30 to 35 minutes. The reason for that is I like my chicken soft and tender and chicken have a way that it can be tough. Like if you just, if you were to just stop the cooking process here, add your potatoes and stuff, your chicken will be tough. But if you allow it to cook for about 30 minutes, the chicken will be soft and falling off the bone. And that's what I like. So I will let this cook for about 30 minutes and then I will show you guys the next step. So after about 30 minutes, what we'll do next is add the rest of our ingredients. We will add our potatoes, we will add the remainders of our onions and garlic, we will add the thyme, we will also add some seasoning just to flavor this back up a bit since we've added some water and we will add a little bit more water so that our potatoes can have enough liquid to cook in. 
and we'll add our habanero peppers i don't want the peppers to pop i just want the flavors from the peppers because my family don't eat a lot of spicy food so i don't want them to pop in here so we'll add that we'll cover this and allow our potatoes to become tender and then we can get ready to serve So this is it guys, this is the finished product of my delicious curry chicken. The last thing I'll add here is some fresh green onions and that's it. Now let's fix us a plate. So today I'll be enjoying my delicious curry chicken with some oil roti. I've been having a lot of rice recently so today I decided to switch it up a bit with some roti and this is how I cook my curry chicken. I do hope you guys give the recipe a try and if you enjoy the video please give it a thumbs up, share it, leave a comment down below and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I will be leaving all my ingredients and measurements down in the description box and I'll see you guys in my next video. Have a good day and enjoy!